What up? Aggressive gang. What's happening? Yeah, we back. Back with another one. They thought we was faking. But we back. I'm back with y'all too. Check it out. For anybody new to seeing this, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have fun over here. We're going to get into this Meg thing. Tory thing. We're going to get into uh, Will Smith. Why not? Everybody else is. More than three times, four times. Everybody's talking about it, right? Okay. Then we're going to get into this Jack Frost thing. You know, Jack Frost, BBN. What network? I say well. Uh, 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 help, you know. Uh. <laughs> that network? Okay. I got you. But check this out, man. Let's, just, let's get this inside of two minutes here. We want to talk for a minute. We want to talk like we want to talk inside two minutes. Why is it so hard for the world not to get Will Smith? Why is all this charades going on? Why is there people with making charades about the deal just to keep content flowing? Like, they don't know why Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock? Ain't inside two minutes yet, I'm sorry. But they don't know. Will Smith did what any real man should have done. If you wouldn't do that for your wife, then she doesn't have a husband. That's not a man. You see, we're men. We are men. We're animalistic. So you gotta see, when you miss, you mess with that, that name, that legendary name that the Smiths now have. I mean, it's legendary, right? No question. How many times are you going to let someone keep walking all over that name and you know you can reach out and touch them? You see, it wasn't just that Will Smith smacked Chris Rock. It was Will Smith smacked Chris Rock at the Oscars live for the world to see. For the whole world, guys. Like, he smacked Chris Rock for every other reporter or every other journalist that wants to keep talking about that man's name. Now know... They can be reached and smacked too. So I think Will Smith did the right thing. Let's nip this in the bud right now. No questions asked. Not Jim Carrey's fault, of course. I think Jim Carrey's protecting his, his fellow comedian and saying, you know, we're not the cool kids no more. We can't say whatever we want on stage. People will get up and get mad because we've made a bunch of pussies out of this world. Honestly, men, raise your boys like men. We're raising pussies. Okay? We're raising pussies. You know, it's like you give three men some cocks, you know, fighting roosters, and they come back with hens. It's like, um, these aren't roosters no more. <laughs> I don't get it. So I, th I think Will Smith did the right thing. No racial involved. Nothing racial is involved with that. Just doing the right thing. I'm sure Will Smith doesn't teach his kids that that was about racial stuff. I'm very positive of that. Now, on to the Tory Lanez thing. Tory Lanez did something every man should have done as well. And he should have kicked that chick to the curb on the first red flag she had ever seen. That dude probably seen so many red flags he just went on past him because it was Meg. She is fine as hell. Everybody loves Meg. But I think if the world doesn't cancel her after this comes out, then you have a big problem here in this world. You'll see how the tides have changed. How political things have moved. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty simple too, you know? We'll get on to the Jack thing. Is Jack, Jack, Jack had one of his moderators over here. Jack had a moderator speak on my channel but we'll get to that because we know Meg we all know that if you get shot where she was showing her bullet wound by a bullet that thing is done son that foot's gonna look way worse I'm sorry to say it I seen tragedy honey but what do you say we get on this Jack Frost thing this Jack Frost thing
Frost, I told you. I don't get personal. I don't get into your family's beef. I don't do none of that. Hell, I, I try helping your channel more than anybody that's going at you, bro. I give you secret, you know, advice that you just don't pick up. Like, constantly kicking people in your chat is not very good for your channel. YouTube sees that as a very problematic channel. Don't you get it? You know, I just don't understand it. What he don't get. Like, you can't keep booting people out of your chat and YouTube think that there's not a problem over there. But let's speak on this Art of D Glass. A moderator for Jack Frost and over at the BBN network. I don't know where this network is, but whatever. Why would you, sir, come to my channel, ask me what my purpose is? My purpose is just like any, sir, is to become a YouTube content creator. I don't, I don't see any problem in it. But you see, you trying to say I'm coming at Jack. But see, my channel ain't built just for Jack. It's not. He's just easy right now. He's in the way, bro. He's just in the way. He's doing people wrong. If you can't see that, Mr. Art of D Glass, Mr. Moderator over there, you're just enabling that man to keep that fuckery going. Or should I say, the rigmarole. <laughs> hey, you just, you're just enabling this man to keep the fuck shit going. Why would you, sir, come onto my channel, tell me what to do with my channel, respectfully? Wouldn't you be booted from Jack's channel for saying that in his chat? Wouldn't you be booted, bud? Yeah, I think you would. I think you know that, too. So you, sir, need to get it together and quit enabling that man. I don't know what in the hell is going on with your brain. If you think anything that man's doing over there is good to people, you're wrong. I watch numerous people daily get booed from that man's chat room for no damn reason only. Other than being themselves and talking freely, which is that's what it's about. Come on over here, Art of Glass. Come on over here. You can chat freely. I promise. I won't censor you. I won't take out letters. I won't... Let you just type capitals. Or, I don't care. It's called a chat. And that's what you're supposed to be able to do in that thing called a chat. So, if that's your tactic is to come over here and tell me what I'm doing wrong with mine, I think mine looks better than Jack's. I mean, I can see that clearly, sir, with simple logic. I'm doing more for my people than he is, and I just started. Do you not see the simple logic? You, sir, need to just get off the fence straddling. And come on over here, and you can speak freely. I promise, R.D. Glass. I don't care if you were an ex-subscriber to him, or you were a subscriber to him, or still are a subscriber to him. You can still talk over here. Because I'm telling you, it hurts not being able to tell you what you want to say over there, don't it? It really hurts, don't it? Because the moment you say something, you're not only booted, but you're removed and hidden. That's bullshit baby back junk, bro. Man, that's some bitch ass shit. Honestly, to not take what he's giving out, to not be able to receive it back, you's a bitch ass dude. Keep your fucking moderators over there, sir. Keep them little boys in their chat. That's, uh, it's like a damn, <laughs> dude, it's like a communist over there, bro. Like, you don't, if nothing goes your way, it's gone. And that right there has ruined your channel, sir, in a nutshell. Keep your moderators on your leash, bro. I promise this ain't the war you want. 